All right, what is going on guys? We are back with another YouTube video. Yeah, 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 settle down guys. Chill, you always freak out. So for today's video, I got something very special in store. So basically I'm gonna be doing um, sneakerhead like Christmas gifts slash like stocking stuffer gifts, like stuff like that, like gifts to get somebody. It doesn't even really have to be for Christmas. It can be for like a birthday, a holiday, anything, Easter, Christmas, birthday, Thanksgiving, Halloween, anything. Hanukkah, doesn't even matter. So <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be like a sneakerhead like gift guide um, from like cheaper items all the way up to like more expensive items. This is for the people out there, maybe like girls that have a boyfriend that's a sneakerhead, parents that have kids that have a sneakerhead, a uh, kid, whatever. Just anybody, you wanna get your homie some like sneakerhead gifts? Got you, bro. So that's the purpose of this video. I hope you guys like it. Before we get into this video, I want you guys to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post because I do post a lot. Drop a like. How about we try, let's try a little goal. Let's try to get this video to 400 likes. I don't know if you guys can do it, but if you're watching, drop a like. Anyway, yeah, so let's get into this video right now. Also, uh, before we start, um, I got these chairs now. I don't know, if you guys watched my last video, the apartment tour, I got some chairs for the stool. I don't know, I thought I'd share. These are super cool. I don't know, they're just dope. Like, look, bro, what? All right, jumping into this video, let's get it. Uh, sneakerhead gift ideas, holidays, Christmas, whatever. Yeah, I know this is hard because like my parents, like my mom, my dad, whatever, they're always like, oh, yo, what do you want for Christmas? What do you want for your birthday? What do you want, you know, like, what do you want as a gift? And I don't know, I know a lot of people, other people don't know, it's hard, like sneakerheads, like you don't know, like you don't wanna get them a pair of shoes because they might not like them or they might already have them. It's all like a big ordeal, but I got you today. Don't have to worry about that. Got you. All these items right here are easily accessible. The whole point of this video is these items are gonna be easily accessible. You can get them like right in one sitting. You can go get them or you can go get them in store. So maybe you're late for a gift. You don't know what you're gonna do. Last minute gift ideas, I got you. All right, so the first item that I recommend that I personally like, they're in this video, the sneaker shelves. Okay, so basically these are sneaker shelves. They're from Ikea. They're about, what, 60 to $70 a piece from Ikea. You can also get them from Amazon. You can get them from other places, not just Ikea. But the good thing about these sneaker walls right here is that they do not drill into the wall. I know at some people's houses that might not be a problem, but here I do live in an apartment, so I can't just start drilling stuff into the walls because I will have to pay for that. <laughs> so these stand up on their own. Uh, you don't have to drill them into the wall. They're very easy to put together. They go literally like any house, any apartment, any whatever, they go good. You can, if you do drill them into the wall, you can put them up in the air, like up on the wall. They're actually not sneaker shelves, they are bookshelves. So look for that. They're supposed to go sideways, but I put them up. They just look dope like that. Um, Yeah, so sneaker walls. You can also buy the individual shelves just a little like cube and then you can put them all over the wall but you have to drill those in obviously but yeah sneaker shelves another good option is the sneaker boxes from these another good option is the sneaker boxes these are from the container store or amazon um, I think they also sell them at like Walmart. These are like uh, little sneaker boxes with a drop front. They're plastic. I used to have those before I had these. I have a modern apartment, so I like to have these. They look cooler like visually, but the boxes work just as well. They're about $10 a piece and they're just plastic little boxes. I'll pop them up. I'll pop up everything on the screen. The next item is sneaker cleaner. Right, so I know what some of you might be thinking like, I don't know what, like, there's like a hundred different sneaker cleaners. Some of you might be like, Yo, you can just wash them with like soap and water. No, wrong, don't do that. But, <laughs> so a sneaker cleaner, there's a million different types of sneaker cleaners. Ones that I recommend that I personally use are Crep Protect, Jason Mark, Rejuvenator. There is MGK, but I've never used that before. But yeah, these are really, really nice cleaners. They work good. They're not gonna damage your shoes. You don't gotta worry about getting a gift and then he ruins his shoes or whatever. Um, the sneaker wipes are actually my favorite. Rejuvenator makes them, Crep Protect makes them. People, other, multiple people make the wipes. The wipes are my favorite. They do, you get the job done and you can just throw them in a backpack or your pocket or whatever if you're going somewhere. The wipes get down to business. And these cleaners are gonna be anywhere from $30 and less. So anywhere from 20 to $30 range. These are good like little stocking stuffers, a little sneaker cleaner, or like some of them sell like the kits. 
These are cool little side gift ideas. Anything, like little small little gifts. I know like my mom always likes to get me a lot of small little gifts that are really cheap, but you know, it just makes it a lot more fun. All right, so the next item you can get for relatively cheap um, uh, stocking stuff or little side gift idea is shoe trees. These right here are literally so cheap. You can get these for a dollar at Ikea, or you can buy them online on Amazon, Walmart, anywhere. These are shoe trees, they fit any shoes, any size, it doesn't matter. They go in literally any sneaker. Um, literally, it's this simple. I'll, I'll give you an example. So basically, you put them in the shoes, just like this, and then you put the little tab in the back, and this makes it to where it holds the shape of the sneaker how it is. So if you have like a beat up sneaker with the toe all curled up or whatever, you throw these in there, they look cool. They're like a dollar a piece. So if you wanna run them in all your shoes, you can do that. Or if you're cleaning a pair of shoes, you throw the shoe tree in there to sh have the shoe keep its shape. So when you're scrubbing it, it doesn't like mash down. But yeah, you can get these for like a dollar all the way up to like $5, super cheap. You can get a few of these great little stocking stuffer. I don't know, I, I just think it'd be cool to throw those in there. All right, the next item we have is these little sneaker box zip up bags. I don't really know what they're called, but you can get these at Foot Locker for like 30 to $40. Um, you can get them at Foot Locker, Champs, Foot Action, all the sneaker stores. You can probably get them on Amazon too. They're, they're great for like traveling. Like if you're traveling somewhere, you throw your shoes in there, you zip them up, they'll keep their shape, they'll keep together. So you don't have to bring the box with you and get the box all beat up. Um, I'll pop them up on the screen. But yeah, these are great. Um, they look cool. Like if you travel, you go to a friend's house, you you know go on a plane, go on a cruise, go wherever, throw your sneakers in a little bag. They're pretty cool and they're relatively cheap too. And the next item that we have here is books. Uh, this is the off-white book. You can get these anywhere from like 40 to like 70 to $80, just depending on what book. Uh, it's an off-white book, which is cool. Like if you're a sneakerhead, this one shows like how the off-white sneakers were made and stuff like that. Um, they also have a book, like a Nike Dunk book. They also have a book um, of like the, the history of sneakers. So it shows you like where, you know, where the sneakers came from, like what's the story behind them. These are super cool. Another little side gift idea. Um, they look cool on a shelf, you know. Buy your sneakers on a shelf, buy a nightstand, whatever, living room. It's in my living room, so. <laughs> but yeah, these are great little side gift idea. I thought I'd throw these in there. Um, nobody actually reads them, but they just look cool. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. The next item you can get is AirPod cases. Once again, you can get these on Amazon, Walmart.com. Doesn't matter. These are like five to ten dollars on Amazon, Walmart, whatever. Um, they are sneaker AirPod cases or hype beast AirPod cases. They're super cool, relatively cheap, good stocking stuffer as well. Throw those in there. Super cheap, super cool. Really, nothing else to say. And the next item we have here is crease protectors. Right, so a lot of sneakerheads do not like to crease their sneakers. A lot of people don't care about creases. Like I personally don't care about creasing my sneakers, but a lot of people do. They do not want to crease their sneakers. They want to keep them fresh and clean as long as possible. So they don't do this right here. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Just crease protectors. These are great. These are also universal. Um, you can get like small ones and then like bigger ones. But if you're like an adult size, you can usually fit either or. Basically, they look like this right here, uh, crease protectors. No sneakerhead is gonna complain about this, no matter what, whether they care or don't care about creases. They make them in a foam, and they also make them in like a plastic. Literally super simple. All you do is just slide them in to like the toe of the sneaker and slide them in just like this. And then you put the shoe on and the sneaker crease protector goes over the top of your foot and it prevents it from creasing so you don't get creases in your sneakers. I like the foam ones better because they're a little bit more comfortable than the plastic ones, but some people like the plastic ones better because the foam ones kind of move around a little bit. But yeah, these are a great uh, gift idea. You can get these anywhere from like a couple bucks all the way up to like $10, just depending on what brand you pick. Literally, it doesn't matter. They're all the same thing. You don't have to pick a certain brand. Like it doesn't have to be anything crazy. The next thing that I have um, as a gift idea, another cheap little stocking stuff or side gift, whatever. Um, this is sneaker rugs. These are little rugs with like foam in them. Um, I have these all around my apartment. They are cheap. You can get them for anywhere from $10 to $20, $5. Just kind of depends. You got to look around. Uh, these little sneaker mats right here. I have this one and I have this one right here. Um, 
You can put these anywhere. I put them in front of my sneaker wall. So if they have like a, if the person has a sneaker collection, a sneaker wall or like the boxes or whatever, you throw this rug down or throw it in like at the entrance of their bedroom or whatever. Um, I have one by my sneaker collection and I also have one by, by the oven or like by the kitchen so you can stand on it because it's got like little foam in it while you're doing whatever. So yeah, these are relatively cheap. Um, you can get them anywhere, Amazon, Walmart.com, anywhere online you can get these. You can't really get them in store, but yeah, they're super cheap and they're cool. Like they're not boring. <laughs> and the last thing I have for gift ideas is sneakers coming out around the day of the birthday, Christmas, whatever. Um, I'm gonna use Christmas as an example. So for this, you pretty much have to go on, uh, go online or go on Instagram, whatever, and look, um, see what sneakers are releasing around that time. I'm gonna use Christmas for an example. This upcoming Christmas, there is a few sneakers releasing. The Jordan 11 Cool Grays, uh, the Jordan 1, I don't know what they're called, they're like pink, the pink Jordan 1s, the handcrafted Jordan 1s, the red Thunder 4s, the Travis Scott Air Maxes, both colorways. They are releasing around the Christmas area, December specifically. So if you're looking to get those as a gift, all you have to do is enter the raffles, go on Sneakers app, check it out, um, try to get them. If you can't get them, then you can like order them on StockX, but you will be paying resale, which is not really cost efficient. But this basically like, nobody's gonna complain about this because A, they're not gonna have the sneakers. For an example, they're not gonna have the sneakers that came out around Christmas. Normally, they're not gonna have them in their collection because they haven't came out yet. Or worst case scenario, you'll get these sneakers for the sneakerhead and they don't like the sneakers, which is totally fine. You can resell them. They do hold value. So you can resell them. You can trade them for something else. You don't have to return them. You can return them. If you keep the receipt, you can return them to wherever, get your money back, get store credit, get whatever. But yeah, they do hold value. It's not just a waste of money. If they don't like them, they hold value. You could probably, if you get them for retail, like if you get them on Foot Locker, Foot Action, Sneakers App, whatever, you can flip them and make money on them. So that's another thing. If they don't like them, it's not the end of the world. Same with a lot of these gifts. <laughs> So yeah. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you are still watching this point, I love you. Drop a like. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. You guys have been, I've been growing like crazy on YouTube. I love it so much. I love making videos for you guys every single day. We're at like 34K subscribers, which is wild. Um, I appreciate every single one of you guys. It's a dream come true. Thank you if you are subscribed for watching this. Love you. I'm back on my YouTube grind. I'm making videos every single week, maybe even twice a week, three times a week. I don't know. Whenever I have time, I'm filming because I absolutely love this. Whenever I have free time, I am filming. This is going to be my main priority for uh, this upcoming break. Um, I love you guys so much. I've said it like five times, but yeah. Uh, if you haven't hit the like button already, like it, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram because I post cool videos and pictures and stuff on there too. Uh, yeah, so that being said, I love you guys so much. See you next time. Depot on Peace. The beach.